All right, you guys, before September 11th, 2001, this is what 9-11 meant. And it's still what comes up, I notice, if you type in 9-1-1. That's how it occurred to me. Um, but if you type in 9 slash uh, 1 one, you get what we know as 9-11 now. So, you know, there's a lot of thoughts. Maybe I'll make another video on... Um, you know, uh, dangerous things. As I said, you know, I think that counting a body counts is basically the way to look for uh, oppression and systematic problems, whether they be accidental, like pollution when you don't know something is toxic, or, you know, like in the old days, um, or, you know, just systematic, like, uh, well, and, and worth it, like 15,000 people a year, or 10 to 15, whatever it is for um, auto accidents well obviously you know out of millions of people yeah we have to keep driving so um so there's all kinds of deaths and certainly um plus this was like billions and billions of property damage and that's also important um but even that those kinds of costs um it's like lead in the soil you know there's tens to hundreds of thousands of people a year dying um where, you know, that is one of the factors in their illness. So this is obviously a huge thing. But really, it was more all in one. It was just, it was more than that. It was more than just the numbers. And I'm sure you all remember, it's like the old people used to say, where were you when uh, JFK got shot? And I wasn't born yet, so. Um, but, um so yeah, I'm just going to share. So I was back in California. I had moved to Hawaii um, something like six, five or six months earlier. I had gotten a job over there, and um, which was great because I kind of moved over there, possibly dropping out of my career, trying to start a small computer repair business or something. I didn't know what. Um, that's another story about why I moved over there. But I had gotten a job at an observatory, and they'd sent me back for Java training in California and also sort of to pick up some things um, it was a chance to do that and um, as I recall <clears throat> I went to the class on Monday and then Tuesday morning the class got canceled and what happened for us is so we got a call it must have been around 6 in the morning and it was still dark outside and um, is the way I remember it I um, in Memories like this are subject to some revision. So, um, and um, we got a call from my aunt on the East Coast in Virginia um, about the towers getting hit because they'd been watching in the morning news the first tower get hit, and then um, when the second one got hit, because of the first one they had still were talking about maybe it was a small plane. Oh, what's going on? And, uh, but by the time the second one hit, which I forget, you know, was within a half an hour or something, um, you know, it was like, holy shit, we're under attack. So my aunt called just kind of already like, this is crazy, wake up. And so I was at my mom's, um, you know, visiting and, uh, my class was in Folsom or something. She lived in Stockton at the time. And, um... So we woke up and started watching the news. It's like, holy moly, you know. And um, they had pictures of the second one. So we knew, oh, this isn't just small planes accidentally flying into the tower. And then a short while later, that plane hit the Pentagon. And I was like, holy fuck, you know. And the whole everybody went in a panic. I it's like, we're in a panic, right? You know, and the president gets on a plane, starts flying around everywhere. And, you know, they shut down, the, of course. I don't know if you guys remember. You lived through it, too, most, most of you. Um, well, all of you, now that I'm putting the adult filter. No, all of you? Let's see. If you were 18 years old, then, obviously, you were just a baby or not alive yet. Yeah. So, um... I was just thinking I should start putting the adult filter on. The only thing I ever do that is, is adults only is swear, but, you know, maybe there's other ideas or something. I don't need to talk to baby kids. But um, nothing against you, though, if you're watching. And um, so 
Yeah, I just remember the sense of national panic, you know, of course. I mean, think about it. They shut down just one day, but a day of a class I had, I forget where, but in some conference room in California, because of something that happened out east, the whole country felt under attack. I, I felt like the whole country was under attack. And then the other plane goes down, and yeah, you know, you kind of felt like, oh, we're going to keep getting attacked. This is a, you know not necessarily an all-on-one-day kind of attack. I mean, I still wonder sometimes if, you know, shutting down uh, the airlines and stuff for a week was, um, you know, did stop some of those, some other attacks. Anyway, you all lived through it, so this isn't to tell about how the, the, the country felt, but, you know, like what I felt like the country was feeling and what I was feeling. So then I had to go back to Hawaii, and luckily the airlines had just started, like it was the first couple days, and you know, the schedules had been kept, and so I actually got to fly back with no problem, though it was weird, I mean, uh, you know, there was military all over the San Francisco airport with, you know, honest to goodness, you know, in full fatigues, and honest to goodness, uh, like battle fatigues, and, and machine guns actually pointing down, I guess, usually, and um and I remember, uh, this must have been later, this couldn't have happened that quick, but later when you go through the airport in Honolulu, they had, um, like, artwork by kids about it, trying to work it out, you know, little stick figures jumping out of a little kid drawn. So sad. Um... So what else? Um, just trying to say, you know, my experience. I'm sure not everybody went to an airport in that time. and uh, Yeah, and then, of course, all hell broke loose and people got crazy. And it's like, hey, let's pretend that Iraqis did. The Iraqis didn't do it. Yeah, but we don't like them. And we might as well see. Because I actually supported the, the war in Afghanistan, but not the Iraq war. I said the Iraq war was, was bullshit. In Afghanistan, I thought we'd go. I actually believed that they would go in there and smoke out uh, bin Laden uh, from Tora Bora and you know I think they should have done that um, I think we could have been in Afghanistan less time with or without that personally um, but um, yeah, could you imagine if Obama invited the Taliban to Camp David on 9-11 weekend <laughs> I'm sure the conservatives would have been perfectly fine with that. That's a stable genius idea. But anyway, so yeah, so when, um, so to me what happened is it was, I got woke up at whatever, six-ish in the morning and, uh, and watched that all unfold and then my activity for the day was canceled. I think most people probably had work and stuff canceled because we started to feel like it could be anywhere, right? Even though they were all on the East Coast, you know, four planes, we didn't know they could have kept coming and kept coming. Um, so, and they didn't all have to be planes, right? Once we got all the planes out, how do we know there weren't bombs set up all over? It, it was the only time in my lifetime and I think in American lifetime that it felt like mainland USA was being attacked. I say that because obviously at Pearl Harbor, Americans had this idea that America was being attacked. But people still kind of think of Hawaii as a separate country and it sort of almost um, behaves that way. And it's so far away that I don't think people in California were worried the Japanese planes were... Um, going to hit them the same day. Now, in, as we went into the war, of course, people did worry about that. But since there were no mainland attacks, well, I guess during World War II, people were probably just as fearful, even though no attacks had happened on the mainland. They had enemies that could have and might have wanted to and would have. And there's some stories of, you know, maybe there were some Japanese subs off the coast. So anyway, certainly in my lifetime, the only reference even close was getting attacked at Pearl Harbor, and this actually was in the mainland, and, you know, it was pretty impressive ex Hollywood destruction, right? So, um, I really think 
that as far as I remember us calling people first responders a lot um, I'd heard that term probably elsewise but that's where we really um, you know them going into these buildings that are on fire and whatnot um, I remember watching one of the stations when the tower fell down while the guy was talking and going because I'd been thinking before, geez, these things are tough. Because when that truck had blown up at the bottom, I was like, that thing withstood that blast. That blast was freaking devastating looking um, with the truck one that they had done in the in the basement. And it's like, those things are built pretty strong. And then we're watching them burn. It's like, those things, amazingly strong. And um, so it, it just disappeared, but there was a cloud of smoke there. You could kind of see the building was gone. That's why it looked like it fallen away. But there's a cloud of smoke, and like I don't know. And then the smoke clears. It's like yeah, it fell down. It was mind blowing. Um, so yeah, I was at my mom getting at my mom's getting. Uh, well, I was asleep, but I would have been getting ready in an hour or two. Well, no, around then actually, the things must have started around nine probably or even eight, so I, I would have been about to get up, even though that's early for me in a situation like that. I had to get somewhere. So I was asleep, I got woke up, I would have been getting ready to go to a Java language class. All right, well, consolations to everybody. This is a day uh, where, oh shoot that up right always does that anyway this is a day where um, it's just sad being victimized but it did um, you know it did we the, the, the country was I would say it was united but I also would say that 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 was false you know I kind of um, you know that we would become this extra that we went into this warlike footing and became an extra like all the people that want to make you take your shoes off and be take away all your freedoms for security they won the day and you know they're spying on everybody why because of terrorism and you know all of this right-wing stuff uh, all the Democrats being for the war um, pretty much and all the um, you know, end up being for the spy state and the following wars and the drone wars and the torture. And it's like now it's 20 years later and it's like, yeah, so that's a big chunk of America's history now that's going to be characterized as this uh, reaction because we were legitimately a victim. Um, you know, very sad event in every, in every respect. And um, the only people that came out looking great in it is the, the first responders. And we really should, uh, should never forget that.